Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for cancer at the foundation? The sun in reverse. Okay, so the sun in reverse, this is an energy of, well, it's an energy of delays, but it's also an energy of depression. What do we have at the sacral? Eight of swords, Gemini energy at the sacral. So this is an energy of somebody who's done something purposely. They went out of their way to do something to you purposely. This is a very calculated energy. It's a very wicked energy. And now this energy is being trapped inside the energy that it's sent towards you. Cancer, this is the same sort of messages I've been picking up for you guys. But there have been little, I don't know, there's been a progress in the energy or there's been progression in the energy. And what I mean by that is, I feel that these energies here are really starting to just see how the karma is coming back to them and how it's developing in their lives. A lot of people who throw this spiritual warfare at other people, the way karma gets them is through their mental faculties. It will start to hit them in a way that is almost unnoticed. And I feel that these people here... There's a lot going on with their mental space. It's like it's driving them crazy. It's like they're forgetting who they are. There's just nothing happening in their life. It's just their life is just falling apart minutely. This is how the universe works. It will happen in a way where it's almost unnoticed. And then all of a sudden you're inside this whole new existence for yourself. And it's all based off of this horrible energy that you projected out into the universe. The universe projected that energy back onto you because you see the universe will give you back exactly the energy you're putting out right this is just how it works so for example say you're trying to manifest love in your life and you're like god i i can't just can't i can't find anyone no one no one ever wants to date me the universe goes yeah i know huh right it's just agreeing with you. The universe agrees with what you put out. Okay, so this is what's happening to this energy here. The universe is agreeing with them with what they've put out and is giving it back to them. This is just how it works. What do we have at the solar plexus? Two of wands. It's like they can't even, it's almost like the karma is hitting them so hard. They can't even remember what they've done. They're just like, I don't even, I feel like for some of these people, this is like developing as like dementia. I'm just getting this energy here. Like these people are starting to get dementia. I've heard that in many places before as well, that spiritual warfare can manifest in the people who um, put that out into the universe as dementia, memory loss. If this is in regards to people who've attacked you with a negative energy, right? And you're starting to speak about this. And so they're starting to do spell work or black magic or whatever it is they do. They're trying to, they're trying to manipulate the energetic realm to make you forget about what they've done to you. Oh, well then, what's the karma they're going to get back? Forgetting, right? Forgetting about what they did to you. Forgetting about the life that they were living when they were doing that to you. It's like the universe is wiping their memory, right? They're trying to take your memories away from you. Well, that's what the universe is going to do to them. I'm feeling like an ace of swords energy right now. What do we have at the heart? This is going to hit them really fast. I just saw the Knight of Swords. I feel like this is all taking place right now. I just saw the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands. Yeah. It's like an attack on their mental faculties. High Priestess and Eight of Wands. What do we have at the 
heart, too many cards. Too many cards. What do we have at the... Temperance, Sag, Energy, Nine of Pentacles at the throat. This is going to be hitting their money as well. You guys have protection around you guys right now. You don't need to do anything. Don't contact these individuals. Don't even, don't even look back, Cancer. Just keep it pushing. Don't allow yourself to get into a place where you almost feel sad for these energies because I know how that goes. I was hearing about some things in regards to people who have um, opposed me with horrendous energetic work, and it made me feel sad. Like, I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to people, but the thing is, for a lot of you guys, you haven't even seen half of what these individuals did to you. The universe has seen it all. So the universe is going to give them back what they put out, like I said. So really, when all's said and done, further down the line, you'll get the messages. You'll see what's going on. You know, without even having to look for it, the universe is going to make sure you find out. What do we have at the third eye? You're just going to start to see and hear about people, other people distancing themselves from these individuals. These people I feel are family members. They've created a lot of con. I'm going to go ahead and take that high priestess. I wanted to come out earlier. I honestly feel like this is going to develop as dementia for some of these people. High priestess at the third eye. I'm reading this as um, a reversal. And the reason why I'm reading this as a reversal, see at the foundation we have the sun in reverse. Which, when this happens at the foundation, and because I use these chakra bells, you have to understand that this side of the bells, okay, is a balanced chakra system. The other side is the seven deadly sins. So when your chakra system is flipped, spun around, that's the seven deadly sins, okay? Um... People who function out of the seven deadly sins are people who have that flip chakra system. They want to be there. They're serving the left-hand path, the path of the devil, the path of darkness. Okay, so this sun in reverse here is telling me that these cards here are being read from the flipped chakra system side. So high priestess in reverse, this is all related to... Um, your intuition being blocked. And the way I'm reading this here intuitively is as energies that have been coming towards you being struck with dementia. Four of Wands. Four of Wands at the crown. I feel like there's going to be brighter days ahead, Cancer. But you have to understand that the universe has to clear these energies out of your life. Unfortunately, this is a part of your paths, having to deal with these karmic family members. I feel like with this four of wands at the crown, this is the divine telling you not to worry. This is just how it has to be. It's really an energy of you or them, right? And especially if you guys have positioned yourselves, which I feel a lot of you have, to assist the collective whether you're tarot readers or do something else, you're writers or musicians, things that help to uplift the collective is what it comes down to, however that shows up for you, okay? Then the divine, the universe, needs to make sure you're protected. And so they have to make sure that these individuals who are doing this to you are stopped in their tracks and given their karma accordingly. There's just no way around that. Okay. What do we have from the Occult Tarot at the Foundation, please? Lucifuge Raphael, Ace of Pentacles at the Foundation. So I feel for a lot of these energies, um, they're going to be, they're going to be going into poverty. They're going to be going into a lot of debt. 
based off of what they've done to you. Because what they've done is they've taken a lot of their finances and they've used all their finances to go against you. So how's that going to show up for them through karma? It's going to show up with debt, right? What, well, you think the universe is going to bless them and send finances their way and give them new opportunities and bring them abundance? No, it's gonna, the universe is going to give them the complete opposite. It says right here, <clears throat> gives all worldly power and treasures, makes one rich quickly. Exactly. In the reverse, right? The universe is going to make them abundant with stress, debt, this is what they projected onto you. So the universe is just giving them exactly what they projected out into the universe for you back to them. Nine of cups, just like nine of cups in reverse at the sacral. So this is, it's like, these energies are very greedy. They're very self-entitled. It's like they saw you manifesting for yourself rapidly and then they started to function out of this place of jealousy, like the self-entitled energy, like they should have that. Like that's for them. They don't understand. It's like they're trying to play God. They think that they decide who gets what. It's crazy though, because I feel like these energies are very lazy. They don't, they don't even do anything to manifest in accordance with, with the universe. They just sit around doing nothing, twiddling their thumbs, sitting on their lazy butts, and expecting everything to come towards them. Like, what is this self-entitled energy? Where does this come from? It's like the demon of self-entitlement, right? Foras. What do we have at the solar plexus? In Cancer, this could either be for you or you could be dealing with a Cancer. So take this as it fits. Okay, because I know um, a lot of you guys are dealing with toxic cancers. Beelzebub, the moon. So that's cancer energy right there. And I um, read these occult tarot cards as reversals. So this is like the moon in reverse. This is an energy of you having all this clarity around what's taking place here. These energies now starting to see how everything they've projected out into the universe has come back to them. You need to really trust your intuition. I really feel like your intuition is telling you exactly what's happening to these people right now. I'm really picking up on this um, dementia energy in this uh, reading here. It's really strange. It's like, um, it's like an energy. It's a, like a second guessing kind of energy. Okay, what do we have at the heart from the Heaven and Hell Tarot? Too many cards. What do we have at the heart, please? So we have Akahia, Patience, which is five of pentacles from the Angel Tarot. And then we have... Ammon, which is two of pentacles from the occult tarot, laziness. Well, imagine that, right? Exactly what I was picking up on here. This self-entitled lazy energy that expects everything to come towards them without any effort or work. This is them now really just getting everything that they put out in the universe for you coming back to them. And look, doesn't it look like they're shocked? Like they were doing something trifling? They're like, oh, crap. What is that coming towards me? It looks like a tsunami of karma, right? It's just an energy of them feeling very overwhelmed and struggling. Struggle. I feel like a lot of them are like sitting there. They're like, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe. Why did I do that? Right? They're starting to really see what they've done now. Because when it comes to karma... There's this moment right before all the karma really wallops you where you start to have regret, right? The universe wants to show you what you've done. It's like they reflect back to you what you've done and then you start receiving the karma and paying your karmic sentences. 
This is an energy here that's about to pay a horrendous karmic sentencing for what they've done to you. This is the energy you're stepping into. Patience. So this is Five of Pentacles energy. But I'm reading this as like the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is an energy of all this new hope coming to you. After this energy of poverty that they were projecting onto you. It's an energy where I feel for a lot of you, you guys struggled financially because of this energy that was being projected onto you. You guys dealt with a lot of financial loss, like just poverty and just always worrying about things. I feel for a lot of you, a lot of you were isolated by this energy as well. This was all projected onto you. As soon as these energies start receiving karma, your life miraculously just becomes significantly better. Oh, I wonder why that is, huh? Okay. What do we have from the angel tarot at the throat, please? What do we have at the throat, please? Two of Pentacles. So it's so interesting. We had the Two of Pentacles in reverse here from the Occult Tarot. And now we have this Two of Pentacles energy here, which is this is the energy that you're stepping into. Okay. So this is just like all these new options coming through for you. And I feel like when I see this angel here, I feel like that's you and you giving offerings to your ancestors, to the divine. So you guys should probably do this. Okay. Fortune and fame fulfills any request. You guys need to give offerings to uh, your ancestors, your passed over loved ones, because they're the ones that have made this happen. They're the ones that are protecting you. So you need to definitely honor them. If you haven't made little altars yet, you should, okay? Because you'd be amazed at um, how this affects your day-to-day -day life. Okay, what do we have at the third eye? Third eye position, please. The sun. Sun upright, so we have it in reverse here. So right as we're ending the spread here, we get the sun upright. And look what it says right there. Restoration of life. Protection from adversaries. <sighs> Protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. I feel like a lot of these people are just, I don't know, you're starting to look at them like they're just wild beasts that live amongst us. I look at karmic people in my life like that now, like it's just like, they're just like a wild animal. So this is all related to this material happiness coming towards you now. This is all related to success, a joyous outcome. This is your life being completely restored back to how it should have always been. You seen as well exactly what took place here. Like I said, the universe is going to make sure you find out. But don't go out of your way to look back, right? Just keep a pushing cancer. The sun, Leo energy at the third eye. What do we have at the crown, please? The lovers at the crown. So this is a full calibration of you. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. So I really feel like for most of you guys, this isn't couple related. It's just the lovers is also a card of you being balanced, spiritually speaking. It's a calibration of you, your divine masculine and divine feminine, whether you're male or female. We all have both of those energies. This is a full balancing of you, bringing you, just really restoring your life. But not to how it was before these energies started attacking you, because I feel for a lot of you, this has been a lifetime, especially if it's your parents. Yes, it's been your entire life. It's just a creation of a new version of yourself is what it comes down to. The divine is giving you an ascended version of yourself now. It's like the supreme version of yourself. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thanks again for your donations, Cancer. Take care.